Hello there and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Zerati. Whoop, whoop, whoop. In today's video, I'll be bringing you something special and spicy a little bit, kind of. I have a lovely guest today with me. She's a fitness trainer and she's also a nutritionist. So guys, make welcome. Selma. Hi. My name is Selma Enang. I'm a nutritionist and I'm a personal trainer. I'm also a consultant and an author. Yes. If you want your waist to be a cutie, she is your go-to. She is the plug. So we'll be talking about relationships. The look I have on my face is a very natural look. Just my lip is popping. That's what I'm going to recreate for her. So without further ado, let's head right into the video. To start off with the makeup, I'll be using the Embrelease Hydra Matte Moisturizer to moisturize her face. So yeah, what is relationship? What is the definition of relationship? I mean, base, the basic definition is relationships are between two people, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't want to give like a dictionary definition, but the basic definition is it's typically between two people. Okay, first we'll be starting off with her brows. What is your ideal kind of relationship? Oh, that's, that's like a really... A heavy question that's a very heavy question because i feel like my typical idea of what it's supposed to be is not what a lot of people are used to so that's why that's a heavy question but we had to switch places because i wanted you all to see what i'm doing okay so yeah so i mean a heavy question in the sense that for instance Communication is like something that's really big when it comes to being in a relationship and very few people know how to properly communicate. So for like let's say you want so you want your partner to do something, mm -hmm. right? And maybe they don't call you enough or you don't feel that they check in enough. And instead of communicating that and saying, Okay, I'm I'm usually better with calls or I would prefer that if you could call me or send me a text if you can't Using the Ellie Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Chestnut to highlight her brows. I get it when people say he doesn't know how to love me or he doesn't love me because we all have different love language, right? Yeah. And I feel in a relationship, if I'm with someone and he doesn't, maybe I like flowers and he's buying me phone yeah i feel it's my responsibility or it's my duty to tell him see i actually appreciate what you're getting me but this is what i love people say that's you not being appreciative of what he's doing like that's you um what's the word you're being greedy asking for more that's the thing like i said about communication is being able to actually tell like the person that you're with that this is what I want to get. That's why I use like the basic things like calling. So if let's say you're one of those people that actually need like some form of consistent communication, even if it's not consistent, maybe, oh, baby, I can't call you or I'll be busy or something, send a text message and mm -hmm. you don't tell the person that you're with that, okay, this is like what I need and this is like what would be easier for me to exist in this relationship you cannot communicate that typically in this generation you just have an attitude just okay you don't call me that's fine you'll see who die here. and then time and you like, want ah, to do the same thing yeah for the next the 48 person. hours i'm not talking to you she can't call me we'll be here like it makes no sense do you see because if you do that then how is the person supposed to understand that oh okay calling her is what is making her not talk to me so yeah that's what i mean by communication communication is like it's such a big thing like if you cannot like express what it is that you genuinely want and that's another thing that like i feel like our generation is missing is that everybody's raised differently and everybody has like had different experiences mm -hmm. so you can't now think that you're going to date somebody and then the person is just going to be exactly what you want it's not possible i mean there are things that you're going to like in the person right and then the other things that are not what you want obviously you have to deal with them and compromise because the person is compromising with you as well but then you cannot expect that when they show up, they will know exactly what to do. For her foundation, I'm using the Hega and Esther Photo Perfect Finish Foundation in the shade Bronze. And I'm using the Nuban Beauty Blender to blend it into her skin. 
to highlight and contour her face i'll be using the early girl pro concealer in the shade chestnut to highlight her face and mahogany to contour i feel in our generation now people are getting more enlightened and it's more like the world is changing but the world is really not changing we are claiming we are woke but we are not truly really really woke in aspects of um, relationships yes it's more like it's the man's word so you have to do what the man wants so and the problem is that typical african man does not understand what submission is submission is not a lot of the the jungle or mm -hmm. whatever it is like it doesn't mean oh my god i control you that's not submission yeah and if we're being honest when it comes to like a relationship and marriage and men actually have to submit to do you understand like most people don't understand like this mm -hmm. thing and the basic african thing and i feel like is something that is the way like men are typically raised it's the thing that oh, okay they are they are the they are basically gods do you understand yeah. the way they are yeah the way they are treated the way like they are spoken to and it starts from a very very young age of never correcting like some of the things that their thoughts or never like putting like the right ideals in their head because submission is not control it's not um okay because i married you and you're in my house so whatever it is i say my word is law and you cannot go against that otherwise i'll divorce you and i'm doing you a favor that's the typical definition of submission in africa especially if the man is doing the lady a favor by getting course, married to her. because i've had someone said to me that um you know um, when you get married whatever your husband says is what you do and i'm like so i don't have an opinion it has to be everything he says i do i feel another thing is how women allow like a lot of things that they don't need to be allowing for example when you first start dating somebody you know deep down that you probably don't know how to wash clothes or you don't even wash your own clothes and you probably give like laundry people to help you do like wash your clothes when you now start dating somebody you now go and pack all his clothes and say well you wash it because you're trying to act like wife yes, material, material. <laughs> i know that there's so much thing. <laughs> seriously who beats this wife material thing that you have to cook it's basically suffered nigerians are used to suffering like i don't know how to explain it but it they are not bougie they don't like internet <laughs> i mean if you're not breaking your back bending over and dying and basically basically having hypertension from marriage it's not marriage okay. it's not possible like if you notice when you see a woman that's like does all the cooking, all the taking care of children, waking up at 4 a.m., having to cook for her husband, fresh meals every day. Mm. And you see a woman that is a career woman, has probably two maids. She's in the, her marriage is still successful. She's still happy. The woman that does everything now, there will be some form of hate. Like, oh, and she's not even a good wife because she can't do it. No, she's a great wife. She just doesn't want to suffer. Using the RCMA No Color Powder to set her face, this will help keep the products locked into her skin. The definition of bougie does not mean have to mean, oh, I cannot lift my leg. I can do all these things. I mean, if I'm working hard for money and I'm making money, I don't understand why I have to be up at 4 a.m. cooking. What's the problem? And that's why you make all that money, so that the money can actually, like, ensure that you can pay for things that ends your rest. Typical African, not even just Nigeria, typical African idea of being married and just even being in a relationship safe. I really don't get when girls are in a relationship. Just relationship. And you are going to a man's house. And you are cleaning. You are sweeping. You are washing his clothes. Why? It's the, it's the same thing of this overhead thing. And do you know that's that's the Just problem. to gain that favor of, oh, I'm wife material. Apart from that, like, you know that anything that you start, you have to finish. Mm -hmm. You can't start doing all these things in the beginning of dating somebody. And then when you're not married, that's say, well, I'm not doing it again. Like, once you start it, and the man sees that, oh, okay, it's not a problem for you. They will never understand why you now decide that you're not going to do it. So I always, like, typically say, if you cannot finish something, don't, don't start, start it. Yeah. If you know that you cannot wake up and be cleaning house and be bathing children and be walking around looking like you're out there because you got married, please don't begin it in your relationship. Don't allow the things that you cannot accept later on. To bronze up her face, I'll be using the Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in the shade Deep Ofo. I had this guy that I was seeing sometime and I had to ask him some questions and I was like, okay, let's assume 
we are all we are having this discussion of we want to build an empire your business my business and and let's just say um, it gets to the point where we have kids and the workload is too much I have work you have work we're going to get a nanny, right? Like we we'll get someone, even if um, it's not like a family member, we we'll just get someone that is going to come help clean and take care of the kids. Uh, and he was like, "Why can't you do everything? My mother did everything." Wow. And <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did that. Um, I would love to have strangers in the house. I'm like, okay, we can just get a nanny that we can pay. Maybe she'll just come clean two times a week. You get someone that will just be around with the kids that we can pay when we come back, the person is off. I was like, no. And in my head, I was like, okay, you have seen Jackie? Jackie that is going to clean, cook, and do everything and still take care of children. The one that actually blew my mind was when he said, my mother does everything. What will happen to my business? What will happen to my work? Let's assume I have somebody to travel to and I need to go on that trip. It's, let's not even say it's because of passion, because of the money. I need to travel. I can't make that money. You know, and let me travel. And it's like, mm, you have to think about the family. People don't understand that relationship is also about um, compromise. Yes, compromise. 50-50 or 100-100, like you scratch my back, I scratch your back and we compromise on something that is going to actually work. And yeah, if I actually have that job, and at the point I got that job and it's probably not favoring the time where everything we had planned is not going. Yeah, I can forfeit that job. I can, okay, we have something else to do. Or it doesn't fall in line. But if it's more like there's practically nothing holding me back from going for that walk and you like you don't want me to travel outside of where we're staying because i have to be a mother i have to cook and clean for you are you really mad for him he doesn't understand why he need help after all his mother did everything so this is your stress it's not that difficult <laughs> highlighting her face using the artist couture highlighter this is a um, fetish So now let's go a little bit, let's not be all spiritual, but let's just dive a little bit into the relationship with God. It's difficult to answer a loaded question <laughs> with one thing <laughs> because it require like a lot of explanation. First of all, is before I even like go into the relationship with God part, is the fact that some of the basic problems, right, is how this generation really doesn't understand what love is. And everybody is hell bent on oh love is about feelings and if nah. I don't feel, love is really nah. not about feelings. Like it is so many things, but feelings is not just one of it's not one of them. Like feelings are like the chemical reactions that happen after in the you initial that stages. That is actually love. Like it's the mm -hmm. initial stages that feel like all those emotions happen and you're like, Oh my god, I'm so in love. Oh my god. But then when all of that dies down, that's when the real relationship actually starts that's when love actually begins because now it takes like intentionality it takes effort it takes compromise sacrifice you cannot love somebody and not be able to sacrifice or compromise that's not love and now going into god's love really like look at god's love and model it against any relationship that you're in that's basically like the standard so first of all what does what does god do he accepts your flaws Hmm? No matter what, there's literally nothing that you can do that God can love you any less. Like the love is unconditional. If you cannot give unconditional love to someone you're not dating, you're not ready. That's the truth. So what happened with God? God, God sacrificed, right? Every single time, if you look and no offense, if you're not like a Christian, but if you look at the Bible and the words are, it's always for God's love that He gave. There's always him giving. Giving, yes. Every single time he's giving. Him and return. Exactly. You can't date somebody and not want to give and consistently expect in return. It will not work. Like any relationship that is built on condition or from a need. Never or actually expectation. or expectations. It's okay to have expectations of okay, fine, this is what 
I think this okay for, for example the love language thing we talked about it's okay to have expectations this is, this is my love language this is what I think if you did this I would be able to understand that okay fine you love me right mm-hmm. those are enough those are great expectations but when you start expecting that oh okay and because I'm dating this person then the person's life has to stop for me because I'm dating this person they cannot go out with other people like all of those things are so unrealistic and a lot of our like, people in our generation do it a lot so if you mirror like what it is with God's love against what it is you're in, like in a relationship, you will be able to see if you're actually like expressing love or you're just being selfish. So yeah, a relationship with God does actually set the tone. We have her love lashes me. stolen. Part your eyelid. Like this. I should do like that. Yes, like your eye in the camera. <laughs> like I'm in <English>. yeah. <laughs> I'll be setting her face using the Nia Makeup Setting Spray. Right. Building like a relationship with God takes it takes effort, right? Mm-hmm. It's not automatic. I think people typically feel that because it's God, it has to be easy. Like she is good. Mm. She you died for me. They used to think like that. Like he's here. No, when they say God is here, so yeah. whenever I talk to him, like you have to answer me. Then before I, I think it was your post on Twitter I came across and I was like, okay, it actually does require work. Like you have to wake up every day intentionally, yeah. pray, ask um, the help of the Holy Spirit. Like you have to intentionally build a relationship with God. And it's basically just like intentionally building a relationship with another person. Thank you very much. I was about to say that. And I always say this thing, your experience with God or of God is directly proportional to how you see him. Okay, so if you mm. see him as a oh he's going to kill me if I don't pray, you constantly just see him as a fighter. Like uh. God is gonna fight every time because but it's not like that. Oh. If you see him as your friend and as father, right, then the entire like dynamics of how you relate completely changes. Because if this person is my friend and this is my father, then I don't have to do like if I don't pray, if I miss reading my Bible today, he's not going to come down from heaven and send burning fire and say, take, die, because I did not pray or read my Bible. It doesn't work like that. It's, it's the most, I, don't, I think it's the most loving relationship. If you actually do cultivate it, it's the most loving relationship you can have in your life. And it sets the tone for everything else. Because then you know how to function from a place of love. Because you're in a relationship with somebody who his entire existence is built on love you see and it's not god is not about feelings it's not human so it's not about his feelings it's how he unconditionally shows up regardless of what it is you do so go and murder somebody and come back and god i killed somebody today he would open his two arms and grab you back in this doesn't mean that there aren't earthly consequences for your mm-hmm. actions because i think it's where people miss it should, oh because god will forgive us exactly exactly that's that's the thing of abusing grace so like obviously there'll be earthly consequences you kill somebody they catch you you go to jail it doesn't mean that you're going to go to hell as long as you've actually said oh this is what i did god and i'm here and i want to change right that's enough and the thing is whatever it is you're about to do You've already been forgiving before you even commit a sin. Like that's that's the thing about God. God is your father. Do you understand? Oh, okay. Not earthly father. Because oh, you can't okay. compare because there are a lot of times where you don't have a present father in your life. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. And that's another thing, like when there's no present male figure in your life, right? You have to be able to like build that other relationship with God because then that's when you learn what is supposed to be. Yeah. Right? Because not everybody and that's the thing, like even parenting requires like a lot of God because not everybody gets it like okay this is what this relationship will look like like even if I'm her parent they're still mm-hmm. supposed to be the part of me that actually like exposes my vulnerability and shows the softer side of me that can actually pull her in instead of push her away I think it's from parenting most of us get it wrong in our actual mm-hmm. relationship with people because I feel parenting also requires the help of God and then if you look at your siblings, you and your siblings, now you guys have a relationship and mm-hmm. it's more like my sibling hurts me, I can't forgive them mm-hmm. as long as they say they're sorry. I can't even forgive them before they say they're sorry. Mm-hmm. So but then we can't apply it to another person. 
but that's basically how so it should be like the love of god relating to people it also it also has to be like how you relate to your family and i like i like the fact that you use this sibling thing because you know how like you have like younger ones or elder ones and even though they really annoy you or do something to anger you and maybe in that moment you're angry mm. at the end of the day you know that like, you can't stay with that kind of hurt like you let it go mm-hmm. like you always like it's so funny that let's say you have like a younger sister right and she's always playing with your makeup and when one day she breaks something that's really expensive yeah and you're like ah today you're gonna die <laughs> After you've expressed that, and and that's I think that's the difference. How like we're actually able to express those feelings that we have when it mm-hmm. comes to siblings, and like oh this is what I'm angry about, or this is what you did I don't like. We're able to express it, but when it comes yeah. to partners, for some reason, you don't want to because do you feel like oh no, they have to come here. No no no, you have to be here. Because when it comes to relationship, like, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of forgiveness. It's forgive forgiveness. forgiveness and compromise and you know it's not those kind of forgiveness that you forgive and be like you i'm forgiving it. you but i'm going to put this inside my book yeah so on the second of may 2018 10 p.m but i'll leave it there and come back one year later just in when case you, you do it again yeah, so i can like, bring out that book I re- that's, that's not, not yes that's not like, it you have to be able to compromise like she likes yam i don't like yam i probably like rice better and she wants to eat him and i want to eat rice okay no problem let us eat the yam and rice together mm-hmm. or okay today we have the yam and tomorrow, tomorrow we, we can, can have, have the rice. rice exactly so it's all about compromise and communication ah i know how much you stress on communication oh, on Twitter. Gone. oh my god oh, ah. communication is like it's yeah. it's if you want to explain this it's so much you have to communicate everything and you can that take on so many different shapes like the things that you don't communicate end up becoming the problems that you deal with later on that level of consistency commitment and being able to like actually like understand that if i've started this thing and i do this then there has to be a level of continuity so that if something mm-hmm. happens now let's say you're with somebody and let's say every day they come back they want to eat rice or they eat like maybe watermelon they marry somebody and one day they show up and they're not in the mood like it's a force you to actually wonder are you What's okay what's going on are you all right it's like you don't want rice you don't want watermelon did you have a bad day like mm-hmm. those kind of things like communication is so important because if you don't communicate those things that are small things in the beginning at the end of the day it becomes a problem so now let's get right into her lips and i'll be lining her lips using the dave's pencil i'll be using this red color from the if pro beauty lip palette summer well, activated like when i open my white teeth just uh, ah oh god like that's so fine and thank you for sticking with us don't get it wrong we are actually not relationship experts we're just talking based on our knowledge and what we know as the relationship i hope you got um little things or something from what we talked about relationship you have to put in the work communicate be consistent forgive and forget don't hold it in. Actually, but come there. Don't come and tell Wanda me. Wanda is, Wanda I just talked to you. Okay. Oh, wow. 10 p.m. Okay. 2nd of May. All right. 2017. Well, okay. We're in 2019. Okay. They get the points. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Blow it. Blow it. You can't run, like, don't blow it. I'm joking. It's a joke. 